I asked Michael Duff about Barnsley's busy conclusion to the season, starting with the Easter weekend. Uh, you've obviously had a, a bit of uh, extra time this week without a midweek game for, for once, uh, obviously coming up to a really grueling schedule. Was it a bit, bit of a chance to sort of rest and recover a little bit before this uh, last push? Yeah, the players got some, a little bit of downtime, um, but then prepare like we always do, um, usual running. Um, quick turnaround for Monday. They'll get a couple of days off on the Tuesday, Wednesday, irrelevant of what the scorelines are because it's the right thing to do. So we could win the next two games 5 0 or get beat 5 0 in the next two games. I don't know, I can't predict the future, but I know that they'll be off Tuesday, Wednesday. So we don't, we always prepare properly. We don't, we're not reactive to results, we're not reactive to emotional decisions that it's right or it's wrong. So they've had a bit more downtime, but they're resting, recovering, they've been in. And they've been working hard, they worked hard yesterday, we'll prepare properly today, a bit more tactical, move on, off Saturday and Sunday, play Monday, so they, they, they know the schedule, uh, it is thick and fast now, but we shouldn't need to do that much now in terms of how we want to play, it's just tweaking certain things for the opposition. And the Easter weekend is always sort of, obviously quite two games back to back and then after that it always feels like that right now is pretty much the end, end of the season, is that the way it feels to you as well? Yeah, I think everyone knows that, um, Easter is always a pivotal, pivotal time of the season. There's normally a team in one of the divisions gets promoted over over the, on Easter Monday. Usually, um, I don't think that will happen in our league this year. Um, and it's you know when you start getting the P's and the and the, and the R's next to people's names, you know you, you start to get you start to get close to the end. So I think there's quite a bit to go in our league. But no, it's it's the clocks go forward. Lighter lighter nights. It's, it's, it's the good. It's when the ticker starts getting down to single figures, which it is. It's, it's the exciting part of the season. So, Doug, uh, not necessarily a definitive weekend, but uh, I, I suppose the picture at the top of the table is going to become clearer come Monday. I think so. Yeah, it always happens. Seems to happen at Easter. You suddenly get get to the other side of it, and it's like, right, this is pretty close to what the, the final table is going to look like, and any, any sort of. You know, talking about the last little few tweaks that teams c can make, and you know, last little uh, surge up the table or down. So yeah, um, by the time we get to sort of Monday, Tuesday, I think we'll have an even better picture of, of what the shake-up looks like. Do you think Barnsley have got to make the move this weekend, or is it just a uh, just a case of keeping pace, really? Yeah, I think they'll be targeting six points. Um, I think if you look at the run of games coming up, although you know. We know that there can be slip-ups and you've got to be at it every time. I don't think there's anything to be feared in the next few weeks and just got to keep getting points. I don't, I'm not sure the league table will completely change in the next few days, but I think Barnsley will just think, let's keep getting these, these wins, win after win after win, and put pressure on the teams around us and hope they slip up. Yeah, and Burton first, what sort of challenge do they pose? Yeah, Michael Dust has been talking about in the pre-match press covers, ter terrible pitch, quite a sort of direct in-your-face kind of style so um, yeah they, they've been on good form recently they've gone up the league table because they were in real trouble before Christmas I think they've won eight of the last 15 which is sort of top 10 form in the league so won't be easy at all but at Barnsley if they play like they did last week and, and like they have most of the time in the last few months they hopefully should get another win. And it, so Barnsley player has been helping them in that form but he's not available uh, to play. Yeah, Jasper Moon um, signed a new contract earlier in the season. Had been loaned out uh, from January after not playing at all in, for the, in the league for Barnsley in the first half of the season. Getting good experience. By all accounts, doing really well. Got in the team of the week a few times, and obviously his um, arrival at Burton has coincided with them go, going up the league. So yeah, he'll be a miss. I'm not exactly sure who they'll bring in to replace him. We've got sort of a few options like the veteran Michael Mancien and players like that to potentially come in but yeah it should should be a bit of a blow for them because he's been playing every week and obviously while well, they've been doing well. And Barnsley sh shouldn't have any team issues particularly with the form they're in? No, no it, um, it would just be a case of who, who he picks I suppose. Um, Luke Thomas came in last week I uh, imagine he might keep his place although Adam Phillips is some player to have on the bench after all the goals he scored this season so it would be a, a case of that and then um, you know, he, also, James Norwood had a little bit of a sore hamstring, so he could potentially co come back in for Mac Max Waters. I think that's probably the most likely change thinking about it, because um, obviously Norwood's been really good this season, and, and just they didn't risk him against Morecambe because they just had a little bit of a an injury, um, and they didn't want to, to take any risks. So yeah, he might come back in, but yeah, it's, it's really just sort of change, freshening things up out of a pretty full squad. 
I like what Duff did uh, in the last game against Morecambe because he he kept he brought a few players on um, and, and rested a few bodies and mm. sort of keeping everyone involved as well. That seems like a, a wise tactic. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, having five substitutes allows you to do that. And also, in that game, they they were three 0 up uh, at half time, and I think they just scored the fourth goal when they changed that. But Barnsley's midfield. I mean, to bring on John Russell, who played in the Championship playoff final last season, um, obviously a really highly rated player, Phillips who we mentioned and Josh Benson as well. I'm not sure there's many League One sides who have those three players to bring on um, in central midfield. So yeah, it's really, really strong. And like you say, um, mixing things up, giving people, resting people and giving their substitutes a, a chance to make them feel involved and uh, an opportunity to impress. I'm sure Michael Duff's not looking elsewhere, but you will be at the, the other matches going on. Uh, Obviously, there's a there's a chance Plymouth, uh, Ipswich, and Wednesday could drop points as well this weekend. Yeah, that's it. I think Barnes just need to get their their job done, get six points from this weekend, and hope that teams around them drop points. And even if they don't, they're still it. They'll if they get maximum points, they'll still be in with a really good chance and just keep the pressure on. I think you know every, every, every week you look and think, oh, could they drop points here? Could they drop points here? But I mean, we've seen some results recently, like Forest Green against Wednesday. I mean, anything can happen. So. Um, yeah, but obviously um, everyone from a Barnsley perspective will help. They'll hope there'll be a few slip-ups in uh, Ipswich, Plymouth and, and Wednesday this weekend and we'll, we'll see what happens. And on to one eye on Monday as well, Doug, uh, a chance to keep that home record going. Yeah, it could be an eighth home win in a row. Shrewsbury, just looking completely from the outside, look like kind of one of those teams that's dropped off a bit since they, they can't get in the, the playoffs, kind of look like a mid-table Gone, gone off form a little bit with nothing to play for team, but they have got Steve Cottle, um, who is you know competitive guy and a wily old team. So they won't they won't be easy. They lost six nine on last home, last away game, sorry, uh, at Charlton last week, so which is obviously a terrible result for them. And they've not been on great form, but yeah, Barnsley want to be at their best again to to get eight home wins in a row for the first time since 1969, I believe. So don't forget to like our post and subscribe to our YouTube channel.